Welcome to the first masterclass with Kemar Ati, better known to you as Ding Dong or World Ding. Now, for those of you who missed the launch, this topic is really, really important to Kemar. And that's why together with GK, we've created eight masterclasses so that every Jamaican can learn the path to financial success. Every Sunday at 5 p.m., join us on Facebook and YouTube to learn even more. So let's get the ball rolling with budgeting and expense tracking. You have to know your income and what you plan to spend money on so that you can set up yourself for financial success. Before I hand over to Kemar, let me remind you to head on over to our Facebook GK Money Sense community because our GK experts are here to help you to know money and grow money. You can ask any question about any topic at any time. Over to you, Kemar. Yes, this is Ding Dong Ravers, and you're here with me at the GK Sense Masterclass Series, Episode 1. We are going to talk about money. We are going to talk about how you spend money, how you save your money, how you keep your money, how you should love your money. And I'm going to give a few steps and some basic things as what to do, protecting, saving your money. Okay? So step one. Step one is creating guidelines. Budgeting. Very key thing. Right? So you create guidelines on, on, on how you budget your money. You check your budget. Check your expenses, what you have to buy, what you need to, or you need to spend your money per month, per week, how much money you need to spend. Prioritize what you need to spend on, right? Food, clothes, bills, those are very important things you have to, you have to have. Um, anything, is after, anything else after that? Going out, partying, drinking, clothes, shoes, all them things they can put to the side until you're properly stable where you can do them thing there. You get me I say? So you have to have guidelines. I've learned this the hard way because at one point things get slow, you know what I mean? And and the pandemic show you all of that too. So it, it, it gets slow where money now come in, but I have to be paying out money same. We have to taking care of my family, taking care of my kids and everything, bills and everything. And I had to start prioritize what I need to spend on. And I did that because nothing never did I go on. So if I did I do it before that, when, when things up and going, I'd have probably have more money saved or more money where I could rely on. You get to me? I say so. I had to learn that the hard way. And thanks to God, I learned. And I learned early. So you need to create guidelines. Very important. Step two is adding up your income. Add up your money. Whichever money you get per month, whether somebody send a money come give you from foreign, whether you walk and book it to and find some money, whether you, you, you add a half, give you money, you understand? Put them together with your income where you get and, and, and make sure so everything is compact, knowing what you have to spend on. You get me? I say, don't make because, okay, you get that extra money from somebody and it, 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 it doesn't come within your paycheck. Remember, your bills are going to come the next week, the next month. The next month, so all you have to do is just put down that money. We don't have extra money anymore. We don't have money to squander out and do what we want to anymore. Them time and them days are done. Reason being, times are get harder, things more expensive, and the paycheck not really I cut it like that for cover everything where you want to cover. Just being truthful. Right? So add up your money and put them together, knowing where you have to spend pan. See? Step three, a very important thing, key. Estimate your expenses. Zane, and I thought this every day. Sometimes don't be fooled by job opportunities. You might get a job prior to the one where you have paid more money. You get me? So you take out loans and, and you buy things because of what you're estimating to make. It is not sure money. They estimate to make it, but it's not sure. Because guess what? The boss can fire you tomorrow or fire you next week. But who are the bills they have to pay the same way? And the bank or whichever place you get the loan from, go and take it away and put in a foreclosure. And you're going to lose everything. And you're going to go back to square one. You know what I mean? So you have to bear in mind that not everything that you think you're going to get, you're going to get it. Because nothing is set in stone. See? And when you make some money, when you have your money, take time out for enjoy it. Enjoy it a little bit. My grandmother teach me one thing. She said, anytime you work, once you get paid, buy something nice food buy a nice plate of food for yourself, at least, from what you pay. And I used to think it was just food, because I was doing it for years. 
and I realize it's not just food. You know, you can cheat yourself sometimes. Go to a resort, go chill for a weekend, carry your family out, or you know what I mean? Take time out for just enjoy where you work and enjoy life a little bit because you work hard. You get what I mean? Yeah. And step four, quick and fast, quick maths, is like, here comes a boom. Calculate how much money you earn. Calculate your income when you have for a month and calculate your expenses. Add up your expenses. Then you go and subtract whatever you make whatever you spend out of your pay. You know what I mean? Sometimes, I know sometimes, the expense is more than even your pay. And when the expenses get more than your pay, you have to really cut down and, and marginalize what you really have to spend and what is most important. You get what I say? So, if you do have money left back after, you're going to know within yourself where you need to spend pan, where you can spend pan, where you're not supposed to spend pan, and just put everything in perspective and just make sure you say, your paycheck good for the next one. You know what I mean? And what is left over, you put it over for your next paycheck or you put it over for your next month because the bills are going to come again. You get what I say? Join us next week Sunday at 5 p.m. for the next GK Money Sense Masterclass as we continue to know money and grow money. Invite your friends and family to join in as well. Join our Facebook GK Money Sense community where you can ask questions about each topic every week. Some of our experts at GK are standing by to really help each and every person understand their money so we can make more, save and invest more, and create better lives for ourselves and our families. See you next week.